transgression or regression. A transgression, of course, is when the sea level rises, and a regression is when it uh, decreases. You've got to have a sea level change. And here are some examples of why sea level will change. Plate tectonics, uh, we know about the, uh, you know, the mid-ocean ridges, the widening and the shrinking of uh, ocean basins. We looked at that earlier this year. We haven't looked at too much in glaciation and ice ages. Hopefully you did this in middle school. But as the uh, ice sheets would melt, you would uh, assume that the uh, water levels would rise. And then apparent sea level change can be due to the uplift of land masses. And again, we're dealing with uh, plate tectonics here. You know, if the land mass rises, then the sea level is going to drop. Uh, these next couple slides are some slides talking about uh, temperature uh, from different glacial periods. And uh, through these in here, take a look at these. Uh, again, the more times we look at uh, different types of data, the better off we are. And here's another one uh, talking about this also. And of course, we always go back to the, uh, the climate change, the amount of CO2 that is uh, getting into the atmosphere. And you can see definitely uh, through the Industrial Revolution. Also, you need to remember, too, that uh, volcanic eruptions throw a whole bunch of CO2 into the atmosphere. Uh, sediments are deposited at different depths of the ocean are different. You know, really, we looked at these. The sandstones were, you know, the beach environment. Then we said shale was a little bit farther out. And then limestone, which is actually ancient critters, the farthest out. Well, you know, you may ask why, but a lot of it has really has to do with uh, the density of the object or the material that's in the water. Sand, as you would uh, probably surmise, has a little greater density, so it would not get carried out from erosion off the land very far offshore. Shale, on the other hand, very, very tiny clay sediments, very, very tiny particles, they could get swept out farther into the water, they would stay in suspension longer, and they would get further from the land, again, due to their density. Limestone, on the other hand, is really ancient sea critters from a, of a reef, and you would not expect those to be on the shore, you would expect those to be farther out into the waters. Uh, we looked at Walther's Law already. Uh, you will definitely have a question on uh, looking at some facies. And we looked at three types of rock, uh, the sandstone, the shale, and the limestone. Uh, here's a diagram of some shoreline environment. And uh, you can see the different rock down here. And again, depending on you know, if it was transgression or regression. Looks like we got some shale here, some type of sandstone in this area here. Uh, here's uh, some things we have also saw in class. Here we have a transgression where the water is increasing, so it would go into the shore more. And here it migrates seaward or goes out, which would be a regression. And you can take any of these layers of rock and then you can kind of de determine, uh, you know, has the water risen or has the water levels receded? Uh, here's the Grand Canyon again. Uh, we looked at that. We should probably take a look at that again because really the Grand Canyon is made up, once you get past the, uh, the bedrock, the schist and the granite there, really it's made up of sandstone, shale, and limestone. And you can tell if the water has transgressed or regressed on there. Well, again, this is a fairly short video. Uh, hopefully most of this is review for you. If not, again, as always, don't be afraid to ask the questions in class.